Let's get jiggy with it. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Joe Simpson here today to talk about jigs, something I never fish. I don't really like to fish. I have no confidence fishing, and I'm going to talk about it anyway because I'm going to force myself to do some jig fishing. I see SB fishing around here over in the Occoquan, and he does very well with jigs. I watched Pat one day with the black and blue hitting some tree stumps and tree branches, and he pulled a couple fish out when I couldn't do anything with any of the other baits that I was using. So I need to force myself to use jigs and also something that Pat's been working on a lot lately is skipping. So I wanted to get some of these jigs with some of these soft baits on there and start practicing skipping during the winter time. If I can't really fish and catch a lot of fish, I can at least do something to improve my skills. Freedom Tackle. Freedom Tackle is the company that I ordered these jigs from. So I'm going to go through all of these Freedom Tackle jigs and talk about these and you guys can weigh in on it and see what you think about them and let me know your opinion. Okay, the first thing I'm going to talk about are these Stealth Swim Jigs. Now, all of these Freedom Tackle jigs have a loose head, meaning that their head has like a little corkscrew wire that they connect to a loose hook. And some of these hooks are Texas rig style hooks, so they're weedless. And some of these hooks are just conventional style jig hooks. But the thing I like about the loose head is once you pin that fish and you're fighting them, your jig is no longer one total connected body and the fish can't leverage and try to shake that hook. They actually have to fight against that pivot point. It makes it a little more difficult for these fish to get off. So let's take a look at the first one. This is just their standard quarter ounce stealth freedom jig. And let's take a close look. Now, as you can see, this is a quarter ounce jig. It has a fairly large head, but it's not real heavy. It kind of has a shimmer and foil look to the head. Uh, the skirt is really nice. I think it's a silicone skirt. Let me pull it out of the package. So you can see right away this jig has a loose pivoting head here, and that's going to make it really nice when fighting those fish. Now, if you look underneath and get a look at what this skirt can do, you see a corkscrew for the front of the bait, and also you see this nice sharp hook, very, very strong on this swim jig. So this is going to be a nice weedless swim jig configuration, easy to pull through the water, hopefully easy to catch and pin fish. Kind of a long skirt. Don't know if I would trim that or not, but it's a little bit on the long side, I think. Now, this is also a stealth jig, but it's a Jared Linter Pro Series with the trocar hook. So you can see I got this in the green pumpkin or whatever color that is. Right off the bat, you can see that it has a shorter skirt. It also has the trocar hook, which has that kind of a, a diamond cut blade on the tip there. And the head is similar or the same. It's loose. It's quarter ounce, and it's a pretty good size. I think the bait that you put on there will back up to that nicely, and that trocar hook is extra, extra stout and super sharp. The nice thing about these, uh, being that they're disconnected from the head of the jig, is that you could change these hooks out over time. Change them to different types, different sizes, different styles. The next one is the Freedom Football Jig. It's just the typical football jig with the straight-up hook. Um, they do have weed guards on these but the weed guards are different than the ones that you see on typical uh, football heads because the football heads are on a pivot. Here's the football head jig, and you can see that that head pivots around, and you have a conventional hook, but you do have a weed guard, which are these little wires, which you could adjust to kind of sit however you want them to be to help keep the weeds from getting hooked on that hook. Um, conventional hook not real big. This is kind of a compact jig, so this will be real nice, especially during the winter months. And this is a 3 8 I believe. Let me just double check. 3 8 ounce jig and solid looking jig. I look forward to using that one for sure. So I have two of those black and blues, and I also picked up one of these 3 8 ounce. It's called uh, Green Pumpkin and Chartreuse. I really like that color. That's going to come in handy. This is the same style version of that jig, and you can see that it has the uh, corkscrew and a weedless apparatus here, and it still has the same pivoting head. I believe every single one of these jigs has a pivoting head. And I think that's about it. I don't have that many other jigs. I have the two swim bait jigs. We'll review those real quick. I think this white silver, that's gonna be a hot color. I think this Pro Series by Jared Lintner is going to be a winner. I really like the Trocar hook on that one. These football jigs, you can't go wrong with a nice compact football jig. Black and blue and pumpkin with chartreuse is always a good go-to. And last but not least, the weedless jig in black and blue. One of these jigs they didn't have in stock. It took a little while to get these. They uh, just moved shops, so if you order something from... Uh, 
American Bait Works or from Freedom Tackle. Give them a little bit of extra time. I felt bad for getting on their case, but I'm a little impatient, so I just was razzing them. So uh, I got my stuff. I'm happy. I can't wait to use it. Maybe I'll get out this weekend and give it a shot. I'm going to go ahead and start putting some of my videos up on a site called Rumble as well. I'm trying to like spread out a little bit and get to different and more social networks. So I'm going to link the Rumble site at the end of this video so you guys can get a look at that. It's going to be slow and coming, but I'm going to just upload basically the same videos that I have on YouTube to Rumble and run those dual next to each other. So if you guys don't like using YouTube and you want to use Rumble, I'll be there eventually fully. And uh, I'm not leaving one platform or the other. I'm just going to kind of put my feet on both sides of the fence. So you guys hang in there. I'll talk to you soon. And tight lines. Later.